not uncommon for those uh, Nikto GANs to run for 10 to 30 minutes each. Not uncommon. Each? Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, get comfy. What does, what does the Nikto do? Nikto is a web vulnerability scanner. It looks for common web server misconfigurations. So maybe you've got a web server that doesn't properly um, deny methods like trace and put. Maybe you've got a web server that doesn't properly apply like anti-cross-site scripting, anti-cross-site request forgery tokens to all HTTP requests. Maybe you've got a web server that has unrestricted folders or you can have like unchecked file upload or you can have um, directory indexing turned on. So Nikto looks for those kinds of misconfigurations. Okay, cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So what is this derb command doing? So that's a directory brute forcer. So a lot of people, if they have like what we found yesterday, yesterday we had a Cisco configuration file. So this is the configuration file to uh, manage a bunch of network equipment, right? And you really shouldn't have something like this exposed. But what happens was the company is an IT consulting company. So if you look, what they have is when their technicians go out to do work, they have all their config files for all their customers located on the company's public web server. Well, all of them are in a folder called configs. See that? Yep. So what you can do with the directory brute forcer is the directory brute forcer will start guessing directory names. Do you have a directory called uploads? Do you have a directory called resumes? Do you have a directory called config? Right? Got it. What, what if the directory name has part of the name? Like it says upload music or something like that. Will it still find it? No, it's not because it's a pure word list. Okay. So when you're specifying word list common. It has to be a hundred percent match has to be 100% match, right? So that's when you're finding wordless common. So what some people do is they run a tool called Cool and they scrape words off the website and make that what they use for directory names or for usernames. And what kind of information does it return on the directories? Does it just tell you if they exist? Yeah, it just tells you if they exist. Now, once it tells you if a directory exists, then it turns into a file brute forcer and guesses file names. Cool. Awesome. That's when you'll find something like one dot back, you know, for like a backup. And so then you could go to those and see if there's information about their server in it. Absolutely. So a lot of times if people back up the entire website, the web page has the connector information to the database, which will have the database passwords. And that's usually saved in backups. Got it. All right, cool. Mm -hmm.